Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is a collab with our top 10 Trader Joe's favorites. So um, I wanna first thank Hulisa from Hulisa Does Stuff for inviting me to participate in this collab. Make sure to check out the rest of the channels participating in this top 10 Trader Joe's favorites collab. They will be linked down below and if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you're coming from one of the other channels, welcome. And so for those of you who may be new, um, I have only been to Trader Joe's four times. It is about 80-ish um, miles or so from here, maybe a little bit less. Um, it, so it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes one way to get there. And plus, I really didn't even know what Trader Joe's was until I started seeing all these hauls on YouTube and all that. So, um, and then I didn't even know we had one. We have two of them here, um, close in my proximity. I think we have more in the state, but um, the other one is about a two hour drive, oh, hour, hour and a half, 45 minutes or so drive. And I went to that one one time, but then I discovered the other one and it is a lot closer. So. Um, but I am already hooked on Trader Joe's. I plan my next trips. I was going to do once a month, and I did that around the holidays. Uh, let's see. I went in April of 2017, and then I didn't go again until September um, of just last year. And then I went again in, I think, November and then um, in December. So there's a lot of holiday things that I really wanted to, to um, take advantage of. But... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go again until, I might go again in February. It just depends. I have my staples and that's pretty much, these are things that I discovered around my first or second trip and I, I bought them each time I went after that. I will have all of my Trader Joe's hauls linked down below as well so you can see all four of those and kind of see some other things that I bought. Um, so far, I don't think I have gotten anything that I did not like. Oh, besides the, we picked up a specialty thing. Um, at the holidays, it was the chocolate liqueur cherries. I didn't really like those. I'm a little bit too strong for my taste. I don't drink, so that's probably why. Um, so anyway, let's go right into these products. I will tell you the smart points for each of them since they all are Weight Watcher friendly. And except for, there's a one item. Um, way that Hulisa asked us to do it was um, we do our top 10 favorites and then we could do like five extra, up to five extra for like a must try or maybe some specialty items that are maybe aren't necessarily diet friendly. Um, so I do have a few of those, but only have one that's really not diet friendly at all. And I don't have all of the products here, but the products that I do have, I will show you. And then the other ones I will put up in a picture. And these are in no particular order. It's just how they came to mind. Um, so let's start off with the first thing, which is a fat-free feta cheese. Um, what I like about this cheese versus, I, for one thing, I never liked feta cheese before until I discovered one other brand, which I can get here locally. Um, other than that, all the other brands I ever tried I did not like. So when um, I started Weight Watchers, I did not pick feta cheese up for the longest time. And I'm not even talking just fat-free, just any feta cheese I did not like. So I found this one brand at one of my local grocery stores, and it was really good. So I thought everybody was like, you have to pick up the Trader Joe's stuff. So I picked it up. What I, one, <laughs> one thing I really like about this is a zero smart points for an ounce. My other one that I really like is one smart point. So this is zero smart points, but this stuff is so good. It's so creamy. You would never know it's fat free. It's just an excellent product. So if you have always been on the fence about feta cheese, just pick this up and try it. I wish I had all the prices for these things. I feel like that's another thing. I know I had to drive a long ways to get up there, but I tried, so I tried to pick items that I really couldn't find in my area or things that I feel like are worth the price of going up there. Plus I combine it. So like we don't have a Target here, so I go to Target when I'm there. We don't have a Hobby Lobby here, so I go up to Hobby Lobby when I'm up there. So I kind of combine it all in one trip. So anyway, here is the fat-free feta. Zero smart points for one ounce. Another thing I fell in love with, and I always heard about this, and that is the light mozzarella cheese. This is the shredded cheese. This stuff, you guys, you would never know it was a light cheese um, for, because of the way that it melts. So this is one point for one ounce. It is, and you don't need a lot. See, that's the thing with it. You don't need a lot because it's cut really big. Plus the way it just, it melts so smooth compared to the other light or fat-free cheeses. 
it, it's just really good it's amazing I pick up two of these every time I go and that will last me well like as you can see this is my second bag and I just opened it the other day so um I think the last time I went was like middle of December so this so one bag yeah so they'll usually last two bags will usually last me about six weeks or so I'd say just depending on what I'm cooking the other one I probably used a lot because I was um you know cooking a lot around the holidays but anyway so you gotta try this this is really good it just it melts so amazing it's great on little pizzas it's great on salads it's just anything I use it on anything that calls for cheese even if a mozzarella cheese is normally not the kind of cheese you would want for the recipe I still grab this next thing is these chili lime burgers these are so good I usually pick up one or two boxes of these every time I go I believe a box of these are only th like $3.99 it's really really affordable um, plus the size of them they are well let me go ahead, I'll go ahead and open it because I'm gonna, I plan on having these this week anyway or but they're all sealed up so as you can see they are a really good size I mean here's my hand <laughs> so these are three smart points for these they are so good you guys so good you guys have to try them they are they are really good so I do pick these up every time I go and the next thing I do not have a have with me because I forgot to get it last time I was up there. I think it's because I was so focused on holiday stuff, which they my store was already out of all the holiday stuff by the time I got up there. But that is the tempura cauliflower. So I will have a picture of it right here. So good, you guys. Now I did kind of have to play around with it. I think I've gotten it twice now. Um, the first time I made it, it was a little bit soggy. So the second time I put it back in the oven, and so you just have to play around with it. But the flavor is out of this world. It's only six smart points for a cup. So good, you guys. It has just the right amount of spice, and it's just good. So I highly recommend that. Even for people who aren't cauliflower lovers, I think you would like this because it's just, it's just not like eating cauliflower. It's just, it's so good. Just try it. Pick it up. Um, the next thing will be no surprise to most of you, and that is the salsa verde sauce. This is zero smart points. You guys know how much I love my um, chicken verde. That I make I um, love it another thing I um, am going to have used this in is a chicken verde soup so it is so good you guys I mean it's I don't know how I mean I've used the hair days her days um, salsa verde and it's good too but just something about this has some really good flavors nice and thick it's I think, believe it's only like 229 I mean it's really affordable Maybe it was only $1.99. I don't remember, but it was about the same price as what I pay for the other. So when I'm up there, I just pick up about two jars of these because I make the chicken verdes quite often. Um, another thing, I only have a couple of the items, and that's the coffees and teas. I just lump this all together because I just kind of see those as one thing. So I love their cold brew coffee a lot. I picked that I picked that up in like September, I believe, when I was oh No, I picked, think I picked it up in April when I was up there. Um, they have a regular and a French roast, and I liked both of those. Um, I also picked up their when I had a when I had a Keurig, I picked up their K cups, and I will again have pictures of the ones I picked up. Up here is like the dark roast and the regular roast, and then um, I plan on next time I'm going up since I now have a Ninja coffee maker and I just need the ground coffee. I plan on picking up um, their other coffee, which is the same as their K cups, but just in the ground version. I also love their teas. I don't have one of them here because I tried it. A friend had some and I tried it, tried some of hers and that was the Harvest Blend tea, the one with the little fox on there. I think that's what it's called. I'll put a picture up here. And then the other teas that I do have on hand is the Candy Cane Green Tea, which is like the Celestial Seasonings Candy Cane Lane, I think is what they call it, something like that. Anyway, this is so good and it's only like $1.99, so cheap. It is amazing I wish I picked would have picked up one other box because I love um, peppermint tea but this is decaf and then the other one I discovered was this winter wake-up tea oh my gosh you guys it is so good um, it's a spicy black tea blend with cinnamon and ginger amazing I wish I would have picked up two boxes because this is heaven so and again I think these are only like a dollar nine nine I mean they're really cheap so that is that um, the next two things I do not have on hand. Well, I have like a little baggie left of it, but that is the 
fully cooked brown rice that's in the freezer section. They have two versions. They have the organic and then just the regular. Um, the only difference between the two is about 50 cents in price, so just depending on what your budget is. Um, as far as the taste, I thought they taste identical. I've picked up both. Um, what I really like about them, and I don't pick up a whole lot of them because I do meal prep my brown rice when I need it for recipes, but what's nice is that if you're in a pinch, so if just at the last minute you decide to make something that needs brown rice, you know how long brown rice takes to cook? Forever. And I used to just have the, a box of the minute brown rice on hand in case. I just don't like that stuff. I, do, I don't like it very well. And I discovered this fully cooked brown rice. And I'll have a picture up here. So good, you guys. There's like two bags in there, which is good for our family because uh, me and my youngest are the only ones that like brown rice. So it comes, I think it's three pouches. I think maybe there's three pouches, two or three pouches in the bag. And each pouch is two servings. And I believe um, it's like six or seven points a serving. Sorry, I forgot to look that up. Um, so it's not really point friendly, but now with the new freestyle program, you could pair that with a lot of zero point things like with chicken and things like that, like the chicken verde. It's with the chicken verde now, the only thing we're going to have to count would be like the mozzarella cheese you put on top and then the rice. So, you know, now we, I think using rice isn't as scary now that we have a lot more zero point options. Um, and then the next thing, number eight, is going to be the fully cooked organic quinoa. Um, I have only seen the organic. Maybe they have a non-organic kind, but I'm pretty sure the organic kind is the only kind I've seen at my store. Again, it's about the same price, about $3.49, $3.99, and it's the same type of thing. It's just there's like a two or three pouches inside there. You cook it in the microwave for three minutes. There's two servings per pouch. Again, it's about five to seven points per serving. It's just really nice. Again, quinoa doesn't take quite as long to cook as brown rice, but it's just nice having that convenience in there. Especially another thing too is I like to take it for lunches sometimes, so it's just easy. I can just throw it in there and then I just have, can cook it at work. Um, the next thing is kind of another one where I just combined a bunch of stuff together and that's their spices. I cannot believe how affordable their spices are and I feel like they're really good quality. Now I have a lot of spices. If you guys, again, have been watching me a while, um, you know I just did a whole big spice thing. I put all my spices in. I bought some little jars and put some spices in there. So I don't really need a lot of spices, but as I need them and every time I'm up there, I'm going to start picking up Trader Joe's ones because they're $1.99, you guys. $1.99. You cannot beat that for good, high quality spices. But I do have a few that I get every single time I go up there and I usually buy two or three. Sorry, I'm one of those people. But I don't never know when I'm gonna get up there next, so I have to. So I think one that everybody knows is everything but the bagel seasoning. Now I believe anything over a tablespoon of this is points, or maybe it's a teaspoon. I'm not sure. Um, but I bet it's over a teaspoon. I bet a teaspoon or more is points. But anyway, I don't ever use that much anyway. I've been using these on the two ingredient bagels, but also I use this on avocado toast. So good on avocado toast, you guys. Anyway, I usually pick up about two or three of these when I go up there. And then, you guys, and I don't like to use seasoning salt, but onion salt. This is so good. If you have not picked this up at your Trader Joe's, pick it up. I picked up three the last time I went because the time before I only picked up one. and. I, yeah, and I use it for everything, not only just my meals, but also my family's meals as well. It just, it's so good. And I think it's, just, if you look at it, it has like the green in there. I've never seen onion salt have that. Again, I don't like to put a lot of salt in my food, but, and this is 75 milligrams for a quarter teaspoon. So it's not too bad. I don't, I, you know, as you guys know, if you watch my grocery hauls, you know I buy no salt added of beans and tomatoes and all that anyway. So that's just so I can control the salt. So this is one of the ways that I add salt to my meals. So I did that one, the 21 seasoning salute. Love this stuff. The everyday seasoning, again, love this stuff. I keep one of these on my kitchen table and that way at dinner time, I usually add a little bit of this. And then I love their rainbow peppercorns. It's just like pepper. So love this stuff. And number 10, oh, here's another one I got last time. I've never gotten this before. I think this was like $3.99 and it's huge. It's a one pound, 10 and a half ounce thing of sea salt. So I picked this up last time. Um, the next thing I don't have a picture of because it's their produce. They have the most, it's just such high quality produce. Um, 
I will kind of, I'll just run some pictures of some things that I really like. I love the organic um, carrots in many colors, which I re recently found here locally. Um, not their brand, of course, but another brand. So that was nice, um, but they have those. I love their little baby zucchinis, their cucumbers, their tomatoes. Uh, I can't remember which ones they're called, but um, they're really good. And they microgreens. I can't find those anywhere here. Um, there are bagged salads. There's just they some great flavors, kind of different flavors. So it's kind of fun to, you know, reach out and try something new. It's just very high quality produce. So those are my top 10 that I try to get every single time I go. Now, the three extras I have. I have two of them here with me. The, the last one I don't. And these are kind of my must try. Now, I discovered these... I think in November, when I went up in November. So good, you guys. I am gonna buy these every single time I go. So the first thing is the peach salsa. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is zero smart points too, by the way. It says spicy, smoky peach salsa. It is so good. It has peaches, tomato puree, tomato paste, tomatoes, onions, chilies and peppers, chipotle peppers, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, salt and spices. So good. I mean, so far I've only eaten it with crackers. I don't know what else you may do with it. Let me know. If you guys have tried this, what have you used this for? The crackers I use it with are, bam, these crackers. These are the roasted gorgonzola flavored oven crisp crackers. You can have um, a serving of these for four smart points, which is 31 crackers. But for 17, it's only two smart points, which is what I usually do because if I have it with like a soup or chili or just a snack with my salsa, 17 is plenty. Um, let me show you what size they are. They're not like super big, but they're also not like super tiny. I don't know if you can kind of tell the size difference, but they are so good. The flavor is just out of this world. It, they're so good. So these are a must try that I am telling you have not tried these yet. You must try them. If you had not tried this yet, Pick it up. I know you're probably looking at it like, uh, that's how I looked at it when I saw it on the shelf, but you know, I said, you know what? I just need to try something new. So I picked it up. Um, the third thing I don't have, it was like a specialty holiday time. I mean, maybe, I don't know if it was a holiday item. It was the first time I ever saw it at my store when I went down there for the holidays. Actually, it was in November when I went. And that was their cold brew chocolate bar. I'll put it right up here. Now, I'm not gonna pick one of these up every time I go because I ate the entire bar. No, I ate half the bar and then I gave the rest to my son and I said, get this out of my face because it is so good. You guys, it's just like chocolatey and it has the coffee like center that's all ooey and gooey and it has a little crunch to it. I'm not sure what was in it that had the crunch. So good. So I picked up a few of them for gifts um, for, um, for friends and stuff for the holidays and then I did keep one for myself, which again, I probably, won't pick it up again unless I just plan on splurging or something because it is, I, I don't even know how many points it was. No idea, I don't even wanna know. So anyway, there you go. These are my top 10 Trader Joe's products plus three must try items that I am encouraging you to try if you have not done so already. Um, again, make sure you check out the rest of the channels participating in this collab. They will be linked down below. I also did link down below my four Trader Joe's hauls that I've had. Um, Ever, since I've only been there four times and I am looking forward to going again and I am also looking forward to watching everybody else's videos who were part of this collab and let me know what your favorite Trader Joe's products are down below if I did not name any of them or if I did name some of your favorites let me know down below as well so I look forward to talking to you soon bye guys <laughs>